Hello there, I'm Felicity Barr with the top stories on Al Jazeera. Turkish police have fired tear gas at anti-government protesters in Istanbul's Taksim Square. It was their second attempt to disperse thousands of demonstrators in less than 24 hours. The Turkish Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan had warned he wouldn't tolerate the protests much longer. In Afghanistan, a massive explosion has rocked the center of the capital, Kabul. The Afghan Supreme Court was the target. At least 17 people are reported to have been killed and up to 40 others injured. Jane Ferguson has more from Kabul. Now, this comes on a day when the UN themselves have come out and said that civilian casualties across the countryside are up 24% this year so far as compared to last year. So that's a huge spike. And if civilians are dying across the country, what people today are saying is that not only are they dying in rural areas from IEDs, but also here in the capital, in the seat of the Afghan government's power and also outside Supreme Courts. So it really seems as though today that they are vulnerable everywhere. This, of course, also comes after another attack yesterday on Kabul airport's military wing. So we're seeing an increase in these sorts of suicide attacks against significant sections of the capital and areas that really are symbolic of the government. At least 14 people have been killed in twin bomb attacks in Damascus. The explosions went off in Marja district in a crowded square. Syrian rebels are also warning that President Bashar al-Assad's forces could soon make a major military push in Aleppo. Attacks on towns and villages near the city have increased in the past week. The rebels say 2,000 Hezbollah fighters have been sent to the strategic Shia villages of Nubal and Zara, close to Aleppo. And don't forget, you can always watch Al Jazeera online. Go to our website at aljazeera.com and click on the Watch Now icon. Those are the headlines. I'm Felicity Barr. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.